How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Andrew. <laughs> uh, I know it's been a while. Um, but here I am with a new gameplay video. This one's, of course, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, before I start, I should let you know that something happened to the first, like, 30 seconds of the video. I kind of didn't record it, probably because I thought I wasn't going to keep in cutscenes, but then I later changed my mind. So, sorry about that, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Assassins. I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The Assassins are far older than Masaya, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are very little as the plague. Less easily eradicated. All right, so this is the opening sequence, and as you can see, we're playing as a Templar. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower, take the sword and the book, hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Run, master. Go! Oh. So let's get to running, shall we? Yep, I avoided these because I just wanted to get this part of the game done. It's not too important. It doesn't tell you very much backstory, so I didn't feel like really spending too much time on it. <laughs> I love hearing that guy fall. Splash! And we're running along. And it even tells you how to climb. I find it funny that a Templar can move and climb like an assassin. Keep in mind that this um, is in medieval times. This specific sequence. It's about a hundred or so years after Assassin's Creed 1. And there's an assassin. So let's go and see if we can kill him. He should have just stayed in there. I'm a coming after you, boy! Gotta love chase sequences in Assassin's Creed games, don't ya? Smoke bomb again. Doesn't do anything. And here's the first instance of combat. Now notice the flash. It's gonna happen again in a few seconds. And I'll explain it after it does. Okay. See, when that bar shows up and it flashes yellow, if you press the parry button, which is circle, for the PS4 anyway, you'll get a counter attack that allows you to have up to three free hits on your enemy. If you press the parry button anytime before that, it'll just deflect the weapon and you'll have to wait for an opening. See? Counter. Hit, hit, hit. Counter. Oh, that's where I dodged. <laughs> Cutscene. That sword looks beautiful. I wouldn't mind having that myself, actually. Oh, he channeled Thor. All that for a book. <laughs> Knowledge is power. If that's how easy it is to open the vault then whatever they put in there is not going to be safe. That says um, Codex of the Father of Understanding in Latin. Or I guess book. I don't know if Codex means book. What an obvious place to put the sword. Like, why wouldn't you hide it somewhere? I mean, your vault door is easy to open. The sword is right there, and that's obviously the most important thing in the vault. Oh, 
Uh oh, looks like the Grand Master was captured. Oh, surprise! The assassin isn't dead. You should have made sure of that. He's dressed exactly like Altair, but with a different color. Seven years later. Ooh, barbecue time. Pope Clement, oh. Hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty. You, King Philip. No punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I he kind of looks scared. Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood. You shall be cursed. Damn, 13 generations. That's a curse. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. Ooh. Hey girl. Disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm okay. Isha, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen. Well, I was hoping me. for your number. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys mm. don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, so where's your tinfoil hat? Why? You can't change the past. That sounds like Sean. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. What if I decide I wanted to date with you? Yeah, that was a little glitch that happens. I don't know why. Versailles, 27 December 1776. Honor. Can I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. Fifteen minutes? Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. You expect me to sit down for fifteen minutes? No exploring. Hmm? Yes, father. I'm what? A seven, eight-year-old boy? I'm going to sit down in a chair for fifteen minutes and do nothing? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I am. Oh, look, there's a picture. <laughs> mm. Little girl. Oh, let's follow her. What were you running away for? You want me to follow you, but you run away. It's just a little dirty. It's still good. It's still good. Stop moving and I'll catch up to you. Don't tell me what to do. Bet you I can. Uh, yeah, this is me trying out the cover button. It's um, L2 on the PS4. But apparently you can't steal while covering. 
Except for unless you're right on top of the apple. You know what the penalty is for stealing. You cut off my hand? Damn it. What the hell's going on? Yeah, that's the after image system, um, or otherwise known as the last position. Where they will search your last known position for you, even if you're out in the open. They really take a long time to give up looking for you. <laughs> Alright, so let's just uh, nonchalantly try to find our way out of this courtyard. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh no, he sees me! And last known position. Kind of like Dragon Ball Z for Assassin's Creed. Now you stop. You didn't steal one. She looks stuck up. Yeah, why would they look for you out in the open? It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Yeah, this in this sequence you don't get to run at your full speed. Actually, in the previous one you didn't get to either. Watch, she's going to teleport. See? Boom. Gone. Oh, dear. Some delicate watches back then. Come away, boy. It's my watch. Yeesh, look at that stab. Arno. Arno. Look at me. Who's this guy? Thirteen years later. Can't win fairly a card, so you stoop to feed it, you bastard. Oh. Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my fault. He's a big one. In the just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Oh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. Oh. Hulk smash! Had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. Oh, God, is this girl? Another chase scene. Sorry, uh, yeah, you see on the left there, there's optional objectives. In this game, they truly are optional. You have absolutely no penalty for not doing them. Unlike in other Assassin's Creed games, where they say they're optional, but you have to get 100% uh, sync, and so that means doing them. In this one, no, you don't really have to. But, you know, most of them are very easy. Um, some of them are annoying because they require things that you may not have. Get 
Yeah, he's gonna listen to that. <laughs> They're shooting at him. Over a watch, they're shooting at him. Uh, okay, so this would be a good time to let you guys know that I've already actually beaten this game. And my first playthrough was pure stealth um, customization. And I found that I got into battles far too often for stealth to be completely viable. So this is a, another playthrough that I'm doing where I'm going to try out a more direct approach. And you guys get to come along for the ride with me. Um, so I hope it works out. Uh, and I hope that I don't die as much as I think I'm going to. But I guess we'll see. See, right now... At this moment in time, I don't think he, Arno, that is, knows anything about assassins or anything like that. And I'm not sure, actually, but I don't think he does. And yet, look at how he's climbing, as if he's already been one. You gotta love those plot holes. Yeah, getting viewpoints is something I always do first in every Assassin's Creed game I play. I always go for the viewpoints straight away. And uh, here I'm just, you know, doing my own little synchronization before doing the official one. Because it looks pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's a pretty big uh, map there. I've always loved how uh, the viewpoint sequence works. It, it looks so great. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the episode. Um, so I'm just going to wrap a few things up. Uh, I have actually recorded quite a few episodes, so you expect more of these. Just got to edit them and do the voiceover work, which is, you know... Kind of difficult when you're in a crowded house, but uh, I will see you all in the next episode, and I hope you look forward to it, because I had a lot of fun with this game. So bye for now.